Hello my friends, it's time for some new dye designs which I'm very excited about. Now these are exclusive dye designs by the Stamps of Life, also known as me, and they are, they are manufactured by Sizzix for us, so it's very exciting for us. And we are now releasing two dye sets a month which is very exciting for us. What happened was, is I designed all these stamp, uh, I'm sorry, all these die designs and I sent them off to Sizzix and I got them all back and they were fantastic and I started to count up and I had ordered 22 months worth of dies, which, whoa, scary. So what we're gonna do instead is make that 11 months worth of dies because I already have another list of dies that I want to do. So we need to um, kind of go through them a little quicker than that. So now we're gonna start releasing two die designs a month, which I'm very excited about. Sometimes it'll be a whole set, sometimes it'll just be one big die, you never know. Well, guess what is this month? I'm very excited about this. We have two die designs. One is for this stamp set, Christmas to Build. And the other one, and this is one that I've been having so many requests for, I had to do it right away, is the onesie for baby. So I'm very excited about that. Let me show you what the dies consist of. So for the Christmas to Build, we have four dies. We have a candy cane, we have two mittens. Let's see if I lay it like that, two mittens. And then we also have one stocking. Now, I know what you're saying, you're thinking, but Stephanie, there's, extra, there's an extra stocking or there's an extra candy cane. Well, in that case, you would just die cut it first and then stamp it after you've die cut it. But let me show you how easy it is to use these dies because these dies from Sizzix are a little different than anything else out there on the market. The nice thing about them is the cutting edge is on the very, very inside of that. So when I turn it over, I know exactly where I'm cutting. There's no worries about, oh, I hope that's centered, I hope that's gonna work. Let me show you how easy they are to use. So I'm gonna bring in my handy dandy Big Shot. Now, if you have other machines, they will work in here as well. For example, the green one from um, Provocraft, uh, the Big Kick, the Vagabond, any um, machine like that that uses the thin dies, these dies will work in. So what I'm gonna do, let's see. Oh, here I've cut out some, I've already stamped some cute little mittens. And I'm gonna take my dies and I'm gonna line them up. Now the nice thing is, is I always use a little post-it note. Now you can use painter's tape or any other kind of temporary tape that you have. I always have post-it notes handy, so that's why I use those. So I'm gonna line those up just like that. And I'm gonna get my other one. And you can cut more than one set, one at a time, which is fantastic. So, and I got that one, just a, stamped it a little close to that one, but it's gonna fit. And so now I'm simply going to get my other cutting pad and I'm gonna run that through the machine. And it's on my stamping mat here, so it's kind of moving around. Now, not only is it perfectly cut out, but it's also stamped perfect as well. Look how cute those are. Aren't those great? So now let's see what other samples I have over here. So again, on that candy cane, if you wanted to cut out both, so here I've already cut out this one, and isn't that adorable? But let's say I wanted to cut out the opposite candy cane as well. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut it out first. So I'm going to just throw that on there, and I don't even need to use a post-it note, but if you're using scratch paper, you might want to, so I'll use my post-it note. And I'm gonna run it through the machine it's so easy to do this, it's so fun. It's so much better than getting out the scissors and trying to line it up and, boy, I'm not good at that. Okay, so now I have my perfectly cut out candy cane. I'm gonna grab the candy cane stamp that matches, and I always like to lay it on top to make sure I'm getting the right one, and it's that one. And so I'm simply going to get a block, and then I'm gonna cut it out. And you know what, whoops, that's the exact right one. So what I'm gonna do whoo, is turn that one over. So now I'm on the back and now I need to switch candy canes because I want them to be the opposites. So I just wanna show you that you really don't need both candy canes and this way you're saving money as well. Now the reason why you do have two mittens is we are able to fit them on the die material itself. So I'm gonna line that up and I'm just gonna simply stamp. Because my stamps are so perfectly clear, you can see exactly where you're stamping. So yeah, the reason why you have two mittens in your die set is because we had enough room on the die um, metal piece on the, it, it's kind of hard to explain, but on the actual piece of metal to cut out the dies, we had the space. So we're able to add that for you as well. So now we have 
those four pieces in that set. Now our other set, yay! These are so fun, I wanna play with those all day. And look how cute it would be to make a little heart out of those. Isn't that cute? Ah! Okay, so that's the one set. Then the other set is our baby set, onesie for baby, and it comes with the rattle. And look at how adorable this is. Isn't that cute? I just did this really fast. I just stamped that on there, and then I cut that um, little rattle out and added it on top. But I got a little fancy on this one, and I'll show you how I did this. I literally made it into a little gift tag. So now the next time I go to a baby shower, I can just add this right on there and I'm ready to go. Isn't that cute? So an easy way to do this stamp, because it is a little bit more flexible, you'll see that in order to add extra real estate to my stamped page here, I added that rattle on there. So there's less, there's, there's not as extra, so much extra material in here. So it is a little bit more flexible. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna gently lay that on top of your block, let it take its own shape. And then just a little tip is I turned my die upside down and I kind of just lined it up and just kind of maneuvered it a little to make sure that it would get perfectly in my die cut. So now I know it's gonna be the exact same shape as my die. And then I can go ahead and stamp that and cut it out. But I wanted to show you when I did this, what I did was I simply folded my cardstock and then I stamped it and I'm going to kind of recreate it here for you. I stamped it very, very, very close to the edge of the fold. Now when I ran it through my die cut machine, I made sure that this folded edge was on the inside of the die so then I wouldn't cut it. So I'm going to show you how I lined that up just like that and the folded edge, I can see it, and I know it's gonna be hard for you to kind of see it, but there's little pieces of that folded edge on the inside, so I'm not gonna cut it. So when I peel it away, and yes, the die does cut two layers, which is perfect, then I have my perfectly little cutout note card. Isn't that adorable? So make sure you check out our galleries for both of these items because our design team has tons of ideas on it, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.